Welcome back to the Citadel, guys. We're gonna open up a new thing today. It's the Proto Fett Helmet. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Then we can match our Mandalorian gear and get out there and catch us some bounties. Let's go. Welcome to the Citadel once again. Now it's time to unbox our next victim. Da da da. Here we are with our little lightsaber once again. Wong. But wait, where could this be? Another kind of saber? A dark saber? I don't know, we'll find out in the Mandalorian, won't we? Uh oh, gotta be careful, I don't wanna break anything in there. Unboxing this sucker. So yesterday, when we made our other video, I kinda like did a review unboxing, so we'll just keep it legit this time. <laughs> So I was originally gonna get the the, the original Boba Fett helmet with all the coloring and all the battle damage, but when I did when I thought about that, I was like, man, you can only be Boba Fett. So I decided let's go with the Proto Fett. And not to mention, I didn't know about the Proto Fett. I didn't know that he was actually gonna be a white stormtrooper when he first came out. So to me, this is a really sick helmet. And it's also a part of history. I had no idea that Boba Fett was going to be a regular stormtrooper. So this is historical and it's really cool. So let's open the sucker and see what's inside of it. My phone over here set up. Excellent touch of the thing. Cool packaging. Can you keep me out? Probably not. You don't want to rip it? Do you want to cut that one? Nope. Don't mind my little tape over here. <laughs> it helps me unpackage these things. Not really, but everyone needs a cake. we have in the box. Take off this top part. So first thing I see is the range finder. Take it out. I don't want to hurt myself here. Maybe a nice too dangerous for me. No, I shouldn't have that. It's okay. So this is the range finder. I know this part lights up. That way you can find your enemy. It's a little bit. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Now this helmet looks bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It kind of makes sense though because all of the fans aren't little boys anymore. You have the big boys. Wow, check this out. It's the helmet, it looks really cool. I'm gonna take the plastic off on it and then you guys can take a closer look. Wow. Check out this baby. That looks so sick. And look, you can tell that they still colored over the Boba Fett battle damage. They didn't put any epoxy over where the damage would be. So you can still see the damage under it. It's basically like a one step less primed version. Yeah, you can see the battle damage all over it. So I mean, that's not bad. It is kind of cool because you can put your own damage on there. At least you can color it the way you want to color it. But yeah, that's my only nitpick right now. Right off the bat, whoa. But it looks really sick. Check out the inside. It's got nice little cushion in there. And I know this electronic too. It's got a voice changer. I'm not sure how it works. Let's put it on. Okay. 
Hey, my bro. Best cut on my earth. You should say. Hell yeah. That is really cool, though. I don't even care about those, so you can't even really tell. It looks sick as hell. So, how does this work here? Anything else in the box? That's it. It was only $99. I know it seems like a lot of money, but if you really, really want to get the Boba Fett one, it's $20 more, I think, $120. So for $20 less, you don't get the extra paint and customize it the way you want it to be, the Mando you want to be. And uh, let's put this thing on it and see how it works. It says electronic. There's like a voice changer on here. I don't understand how this works. Oh, there's like, there's a little, little metal clip right here. Come check it out. See that clip right there? So that metal part's gonna go inside the helmet. Let's see what happens. I don't wanna break it, yeah, so. I think it looks like it just goes in. Oh, that slides that up and down here. Put it on the side. I'm not sure how that works. Let's see the instructions of this muggy mug. Uh -huh. Good old instructions. Because Daddy doesn't want to break his new toy. It looks stupid. You know what I mean? Take a look. Ooh. That's cool. Pro effect. So step one. We're actually gonna take this off and put a battery in it. So there's a screwdriver part, huh? It actually comes off. Oh, look. So we're gonna take it off right quick. I'll be right back. We got tools. It's time to get batteries. So I love Amazon. Everyone hates Amazon, but rechargeable batteries. Best thing for lightsabers, helmets, the VR controllers for squadrons. Let's go. So let's open up this side right here. Alright everybody, we got ourselves a battery. Let's see if this helmet works. It says electronic. I wish it would change your voice. I don't think it changes your voice. If it changes our voice, that'll be freaking awesome. But I can just pretend like my voice really sounds like a Boba Fett. Get on your way. Now. No. Let's put it in. Let's lock her up. Boom, 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 boom. Feel like a real man going right now, building my armor. Does it go that way? Mm -hmm. or the other? That way, right? All right. I'm a little foolish. This the way it's supposed to be. Just a little special, I think so. Well, there you go. Now it's on. Let's see what happens when we activate it. Memory time. Target. Target locked. Hello. The bounty's on your mind. Where's the kid? I don't know. This is pretty cool. I'm digging it. It's freaking awesome. Check that out. It's got these little lights flashing right here. But there's no voice changer, sadly. 
It is really sick though. That looks tight. I don't even remember that in the movie. Also, there's a little guard for it so you can stick it over and cover it up in case you don't want to see that. Boom. Put it back up, the lights turn off, and you're ready to go on your bounty hunt away. <laughs> this helmet is sick. It's pretty good for your own cosplay. You want to take it out and have a good time. But this is what I was talking about right here. It's that prototype fit. And that's the actual Boba Fett we got. Originally it was going to be a super trooper for everyone. But Lucas changed his mind. Then we got Daddy Django Fett right there. And one of our very own favorites, one of the Vistlas, if the end of a Troy, Mandalorian, Mandalorian, you know? Sick, sick, sick. This helmet is tight as hell. Check out the inside of it. On the inside, it's got these nice little padding in there. You can actually control and adjust it. And check it out. We can even put the helmet on. And this is what it looks like if you're inside. The Mandalorian's helmet. It's pretty freaking sick in here, right? It's freaking awesome. Never seen anything so sick. Look at it. Da da na 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 na. You see the lights are flashing right there? Freaking sick. That's how you know they're gonna aim and shoot you into oblivion. No disintegrations. Check this out. Boom. That looks so freaking awesome for a cosplay. Like I said, we can paint this sucker any way we want it. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. Check out up close on this guy. Super straight up. Super straight up. Hasbro knows what they're doing when it comes to the Mandalorians. And let's keep it exclusive. Yeah. I am the Mandalorian, and you shall never defeat me. Dun 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 <laughs> Where's the child? That's not enough homo for everyone. Off to the cave. Signing out to Nurk. Peace to the Citadel. Must get to my ship now. We got the helmet. Now we're fully Mandalorian geared up. And we're ready for war. The only way to stop a Jedi is by becoming a Jedi. The Lord Revan. <laughs> Hopefully one day we'll have a full set of grid armor. I'll show it to you. Next time we come back, click that subscribe, like, and follow button. Keep it short and sweet, and peace. Where's the child? Next season on the Mandalorian, we'll find him. I see you.